What else, Brian? What's next? Uh, you want to talk about some Marvel now? Yeah, you can do some Marvel stuff. Fantastic Four, Brian. No other heroes. I would guess, Brian, that this means that they really obviously want us to focus on them and nothing else, which is fine. I mean, I, we sort of got in that in in the the description of what this movie is going to be, where it's going to be, where it's taking place. So we sort of knew that. Um, I guess them placing the emphasis on it to me really doesn't, uh, I guess they want to just assure people who don't know that there are no other heroes in this, in this world. It's just a fantastic four. Your thoughts on this, uh, announcement. Well, so my, my tinfoil hat immediately went on when I saw this. Uh, so let me give you the quote first from Matt Shackman, cause this is confirmation quote. The great thing about this is we are building a new universe where there are no other heroes. It's just the Fantastic Four, end quote. Then he also added, by the way, for the movie, they're drawing on the inspiration of the actual space race, which took place in the 1960s, where this movie is set. And he said, so First Steps is, quote, partly to do with that idea about exploration. Um, so I think it's a good decision, number one. We've talked about this movie being potentially too cluttered and rushed because of the Galactus surfer uh, inclusion. I still worry about that. But I also think it is notable where he describes it as we're building a new universe. Because I have said before, I thought that this alternate world would become the forum that is the new MCU when they blow this thing up at the end of Secret Wars and start over. And I think this quote looks an awful lot like a blank slate to me where the first family are the first heroes in what is going to be this enormous palette of new Captain America and new Thor and new Iron Man, all that stuff down the road. I kind of read the comment that way. Do you, do you hear any of that when he says it that way? Uh, Now that you, that you sort of say it, I I, I do. And it makes sense Uh, because this is what, Secret War, the world after Secret Wars is going to be, is going to be a clean slate, is going to be not here, is going to be in this other place, in this new world that we can sort of, it won't be too reality based, Brian. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's going to be in this MCU now that that's different, but still we'll get to see characters and things that happen that comes perhaps straight out of the comics who knows whatever um but it'll be interesting because the hope it'll be different from what we've been already getting and it sets up the opportunity for for new stuff new relationships um and i and i hope something better right yes but i think it's conspicuous i mean i think Mm -hmm. it's what like as we know these decisions do not get there's there's no todd phillips joker two thing going on here matt shackman is not making that decision independent of kevin feige like they're yeah, in the yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. To me, yeah. I think it helps Fantastic Four because they need that family to work. They need that group of characters to overcome the dead weight of the two prior incarnations on big screen. So they have to give them that stage to themselves. But I just think it's you're in the 1960s. You're in this era which we're clearly not going to spend our entire new universe in the 1960s. So it gives them a chance to say like before we got to whatever modern Avengers storylines were getting down the road, there was this world that just had these people. So I don't, I, again, I just think that's too convenient to be total coincidence. There's also a little nugget that got dropped, not totally confirmed, but being reported is that Mr. Downey will be in the credit scene for first steps. That, but that's the linkage, right? So if you're doing the thing of like, how do we get from 616 and Secret Wars to a blank slate, it has to be through Doom, right? I mean, whatever yeah. Doom's machinations are in Avengers 5 and 6 have to be paving the way for the universe being destroyed and redone and reset. And the idea of Robert Downey maybe making his first on-screen appearance 
in a credit scene of this movie is probably a bridge to that. But anyway, I know you're shaking your head already, but that, that came out that he, he would sort of show up in this. But me shaking my head is in reference to and what I'm thinking about is the future of Doom, the future after this secret wars. What does it's like, we're starting off on the wrong foot. I, I just feel like with Doom. Well, that goes back to our prior discussion, but I will say in fairness to what they're trying to do, we know that Fantastic Four is in Secret Wars too. These, these, these characters yes. are in there. So you ha my point is you have, to, you have to figure out a way for that to make sense. Yeah. And Doom is the only vehicle. It doesn't make yeah. sense for like Tom Holland's Spider-Man to pop up in this movie, right? In any capacity, time traveling or otherwise. It's like, it just doesn't. So like Doom mm -hmm. is the only character that has to bring them toward the 616 Secret Wars battle. And then likewise, we'll see. Maybe if that Robert Downey Doom gets wiped out, it then leaves the void whereby a true Victor Von Doom in this new universe can sort of ultimately arise. I don't know. But uh, I wasn't shocked, I would say, when I saw that. I think it's also, look, they know this movie has to work, right? And so <laughs> having, having the tease of Downey at the back end is a little way to kind of get people a little more interested. It'll be interesting how they do it. I think that scene is really important, though, because if he's, if he's not in the mask, or if he's in the mask and he talks, it's almost going to be like its own trailer for what kind of doom we're getting. And I feel like in those, that little snippet, we might form a lot of judgment. I hope that in the Fantastic Four movie, we get, a, we get some scenes where there's this, you see this fly flying around and they're swatting away every once in a blue. And the, the, the end credit scene is a visual of the fly in the room flying around and Doom watching it. Because that's what he be doing, you know? That's how he gets his intel. <laughs> but why listen to me? Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> So let us know in the comments section below what you guys think of um, that idea of the Fantastic Four in that world, there, there'd be no other heroes. I mean, we sort of suspected that. We didn't think uh, there, would, there would be. Um, and the fact that, you know, they're making some comments of, of this be, being the case, that this is the future of MCU 2.0, I would say. 